Okay, so we're back. Are we back? No, I feel like I need to see. Open a different. There we go. Okay. Now we're back. Um, hey y'all. So today, as the title says, we are doing an empties video. Some of these products aren't all the way empty, but I know I'm gonna use them till they're all the way. They're just like two that have like this much left. I have been MIA a few weeks ago, like my skin broke out super crazy from this new skincare I was using. Like it's still kind of like recovering. Then this past week, I had plans where I was like, I'm gonna get back on track. I recorded my video for you guys. What was that? Trying the um, Riviera palette. My eyes are like annoyingly sensitive to eye makeup. How ironic. Um, and when I take it off, I have to be super careful. Apparently I was not. But when I tell you I woke up, like I literally thought I was gonna cry blood. So I was really scared to put eyeshadow on. I was still kind of scared today. That's why my look is so tame. Like, I know everyone that's been wanting the neutrals, like, here you go. So, let's just get into it. So if you want to see products that I recently used up or I'm about to use up, then just keep watching. Well, there are not too many like home products that I really use like all the way up. And I, well, I mean, I guess there are like cleaning products, whatever, but I don't really count that. Cause it's like, what are you gonna do not clean house, girl? Um, so this is a calming pillow mist. I just like to get in the bed and just like it smell fresh. Like even when I like when I change the sheets and I make the bed, like I'm dowsing the sheets from top to bottom in this spray. Um, so this is the Muse Bath Apothecary Pillow Ritual Calming Pillow Mist in Fleur de Lavender. Only like that little bit left. Like I probably have like one or two more uses left and it's out of here so i want to go get some more um you guys know like at tj maxx and marshall's and places like that it's rare that you go in there like it's not like a target where i'm gonna go back there and see this exact brand like with like 10 extra bottles inside like no you see what you see while you're there you better get it while you're there i have one nail care item this is the julep essential cuticle oil this is the best nail oil it's better than all the nail up oils I've ever used. I not only see a difference like in the skin around my nails, but a difference in my actual nails. Like I could use some right now to be honest with you. And it has like a little rolly ball, so you're not like dispensing too much. Um, Julep is a little pricey. Um, like I wanna say that oil is maybe like $15. And then like when you rub it on, like look how it like, it just makes my nail polish like shine. Like, like I put a new top coat on it or something. Like really good because in my opinion like are your nails even done if your cuticles are raggedy they're not to me they're not like you need to keep like a part of good looking nails is having like nice moisturized cuticles this mask i mentioned this also in a favorites and i finally used it all the way up um this is the brown butter beauty coconut charcoal purifying mask for decongestant blend especially suited for oily and blemish prone skin. When I skin, when I skin, when I say my skin was always, well not always, but mostly acting right when I was using this, and I would try to use it like maybe once, maybe twice a week if I felt like, you know, I had a problem area or something. Um, it was really getting like deep into my skin and you could feel it, okay? You, you felt it getting there and gripping. There goes the dishwasher. No, it just has five seconds left. I might as well just let it go. Back to it. Um, what was I saying? The mask is good, bottom line. Like, um, okay, so next, like, I'm not all the way done with this product, but as you can see, like, I don't have far to go. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I've mentioned this to you guys, I don't know how many times now. If you have oily, acne-prone skin like myself, you need to get you some of this. I started using this, and I use this on my face daily. It absorbs very quickly. Like, one thing I didn't want 
you shouldn't want if you have oily skin or acne prone skin you don't want like a heavy oily greasy type of moisturizer this goes on beautifully under my makeup i wear this every single day this is what i use like in the mornings after i wash my face at night i use something that's a little bit heavier but it's not like greasy still um okay dishwasher thank you all the need to announce it was done this small size i want to say was 15 dollars and this is like their travel size but i was like i want to get it just to try to see if i'm gonna like it enough to get the bigger size because if not then at least i didn't waste money on the full size okay so next we have three makeup items and i'll eat oh my gosh y'all i just realized i have no mascara on what was what am i doing there's, this is one of my empties because there's like nothing left in this and what is left is dried up um so i guess we'll start with this this is the colossal volume express now i know you're like girl yes it's empty it's a mini like travel size okay look i ran out of my regular size mascara you guys know i work at a beauty company i was like get it here so i've been using this i use this for my videos i use this day to day this is the best like if you want some lengthening volumizing mascara this is the way to go like the brush is nice and big i don't like those like plasticky brushes i don't like those i like the actual fibrous brushes like or that's like an actual brush i don't like the plastic ones um another julep product we have this is the iconic brow setting gel this is one of my favorite clear gels i like the brush the brush is so small and i also like it because it doesn't make them feel like hard it lastly we have a brow product now this has been on my favorites for so long this is the lime crime bushy brow gel i want one brow product i don't want to have to use a brow gel and then a pomade and then a pencil and then no i want one brow product especially for day to day do you see how thin and small this this booty is like it actually makes sense like that you can actually like line up your brows and i have done this before with this brow gel i feel like i've done a tutorial with y'all with this brow gel before um where i've actually like used only this and lined up my brows and like carve them out like the end is skinny enough where i can color them in also to the brow gel is not like super wet like a lot of brow gel formulas like for example dip brow i'm just using it because y'all asked me about it um the formula is very wet so it like it can get messy very fast this kind of has like a powdery formula to it like it's a gel but it, it has like a powdery effect to it so it doesn't look as harsh a lot but i did just want to come on here and like chit chat with y'all because i've been mia for a minute so that is all if you have questions about anything let me know um i will try to leave a link to everything the only thing that's probably not gonna have a link for is this because like it's tj maxx and marshall's y'all like just go on there and find your pillow spread um so yeah that's all i will see you guys next time